how to build a millionaire mind. No, wait, how to build a billionaire's brain. This is Sugar Mama TV. Welcome back to my channel. I am financial planner Canna Campbell. Today I want to talk to you about the power of a money mindset. If you can invest some time up front exploring and dissecting and rebuilding your mindset when it comes to money, you will often find that not only are you achieving your goals and dreams with greater success, but you're actually having so much more fun along the way. And you can even surprise and inspire yourself by really how much more you can achieve when you fix your mindset first. Now, today's video is actually inspired by an article that I found on Inc. Australia. It was called How to Become a Millionaire in Five Years. And I thought there were some brilliant ideas in this particular article. And some of these ideas I've actually been doing and applying for myself for a really long time with great successes. So this is what I want to talk to you about in today's video because I think it's incredibly powerful and incredibly helpful when it comes to achieving your financial goals and dreams. Now, the first step is to develop your wealth vision. Now, wealth has various definitions and so many people look at the definition of wealth on so many different levels. So it's really important that you stop and take the time to explore and understand what having a wealthy life really means to you. Does it mean working part time? Does it mean going on lots of amazing adventures, traveling overseas or exploring your own home and country? Does it mean living a luxurious life, whining and dining at all these amazing restaurants and bars and buying everything of your heart's desire? Or does it simply mean having time, having time to be able to spend more time with your family, with your friends, building your health, or perhaps it means all of those. But it's really important that you get really clear as to what financial wealth means to you and what you want to build for yourself. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years. I highly recommend writing it down, maybe even journaling. The more detail you can give, the better. Because remember, money loves definition and clarity. And uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber, maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself like... Yeah, yeah. And I also find when you do this, you have so much more inspiration and motivation behind working on your goals and dreams. Look at your interiors. Perhaps you need to maybe declutter your space or simply reorganize and tidy. Perhaps it's time for a bit of a facelift where you change your linens or your cushions or your color scheme to make you feel more inspired. Perhaps you need to look at the social circles that you operate in. Maybe there are some people you need to see more of and maybe some people that you need to keep at arm's length because they might have a toxic influence in your life. Or perhaps you can only see them in certain situations and times in your life. I'm not cool enough to shoot your gun, Julian. Take the gun. Take it. I'm not cool enough to shoot this, Julian. I'm not as cool as you. You know that. I can't right, shoot point your freaking gun. Point the gun at the machine and shoot it. You hit that machine, you're going to be a lot cooler than you are now. Shoot it! Remember, the people around you are a direct reflection of where you are going in life. Really try and spend time around people that lift you up, inspire you, and encourage you to go after your goals and dreams. Another great thing to look at when it comes to your environment is your routine. How do you want to be living your life? How do you want to spend each day? Also, how do you want to spend each day in positive correlation to achieving all of your goals and dreams? Really look at your routine, look at things you can do differently that will add more efficiency in your life and perhaps even maybe give you back more time so you can really spend more time exploring and building and strengthening your mindset. For me, this means getting up early in the morning and having time alone. This is when I look at my goals, read my goals and rewrite my goals and do a whole pile of visualization work. Another important aspect of environment is your exercise. How are you fitting exercise in your life? I know for me that when I prioritize exercise, I have so much more energy 
Jumping out of bed is easy and I also sleep so much better at night. I get a really great restorative night's sleep. And other little things in your environment. What other little maybe touches or luxuries do you like to surround yourself that make you feel inspired and remind you of the goals and dreams that you're working on? So for me, I love seeing a beautiful, luxurious candle on my bedside table. There's something about lighting a candle that's a great ritual that makes me feel relaxed and enjoying life in its richness. Or perhaps having some beautiful flowers on your bedside table. Or perhaps having a very small but beautiful bunch of flowers sitting on your desk next to your computer. Or maybe it's just having some very luxurious, beautiful chocolate in your fridge at home. Think about and design the environment around yourself so that you really do thrive and succeed. The third concept around building and strengthening your money mindset is visualization. Every morning I really try and spend just a couple of minutes visualizing my successes from start to finish. I imagine myself and see myself getting stuck into my work, beginning, doing all the hard work, pushing through all the challenges and setbacks, and then going all the way through to the end where I complete that goal and dream. I will sit and watch myself doing all the hard work, feeling all the successes as they rush through to my body. The feelings of pride, satisfaction, joy, bliss, the excitement of being able to share with Tom or my friends or my children what I have achieved. Then friends happened, which I thought I'd kind of manifested. To manifest you, whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest, you, you speak to it as though it's already happened. Okay, I like that. So thank you for this wonderful job that I have dreamed about and prayed for and I, with this glorious crew and a joyful experience. Thank you for that. Now, if you've never listened to affirmations and don't know where to start, make sure you go and check out the link in the video description box below because I have a range of amazing podcasts around positive money mindset affirmations. No matter what your financial goals and dreams might be, these affirmations are incredibly powerful. Also, whilst doing this, I really recommend having a vision board. This is a great way to kickstart or stimulate the visualization process. And also you will find as you listen to affirmations on a regular basis, your own inner self-talk will really shift, improve, and change the way that you think about your future. The fourth concept when it comes to money mindset is actually the game plan. Of course, it's really important that you be positive, you're excited, you're feeling empowered when it comes to achieving all of your goals and dreams. And you're feeding yourself with all the right nutrients when it comes to fine tuning your mindset, because that's what's gonna drive your motivation and help squash any procrastination that comes your way. But it is incredibly important that you put action behind these words so that you feel really accountable and you feel incredibly powerful. So one little hack that I have is every day when I'm looking at my goals and dreams, I ask myself, what is one very small but simple thing I can do that is in positive correlation to achieving that goal? Now, this might be something really big like transferring $1,000 onto my mortgage, but it also might be something very small like rereading my goals multiple times or maybe checking my budget or maybe looking at my passive income that I've built so far and seeing how I'm tracking towards my goals. It doesn't matter how big or how small, but the fact that you are doing something every day that is in positive correlation to achieving that goal, it's incredibly powerful. And if you think about it, if you're doing lots of little things, 365 days, you are going to really achieve your goals and dreams in leaps and bounds and save yourself so much time and energy and add so much more efficiency to your life. Now, one important thing that I wanna to add to this concept of game planning, and then that is when you're in the mood, try and do bursts sprints. When you're in the zone where you're getting great successes and you're getting great progress, make sure you continue on riding with that high. Say for example, you sell a whole pile of stuff to the circular economy and you're making extra money. Maybe you've even made more money than what you actually realized. If you're feeling inspired and a rush of energy, capitalize on that, keep going. Try and find other ideas or other things that you can sell so you can keep going. And that is what I call bursts and spurts. You're in the zone, so make the most of that opportunity. And of course, when there are times where you're feeling flat 
or you need to recharge your batteries make sure you honor that time but honor that time correctly use it wisely and feed yourself whatever you may need so that you can quickly get back on your feet again and thriving and achieving with not only building your money mindset but working on those goals and seeing how incredibly powerful you really are and then the fifth and final concept to building your money mindset and really seeing the fruits of your hard work that is the results and the successes as you work towards your goals and dreams and that is a 90 day review plan every 90 days look back and see how you are tracking what has worked what has not worked what can you tweak and change in the things that you're doing in your game plan to add greater success and greater efficiency as you work towards your goals and dreams also spend time exploring your money mindset what things are really helping you feel strong confident and empowered when it comes to working on your goals and dreams really make sure that you focus and fine-tune those so that they can be even more powerful as you go from strength to strength another important element when it comes to doing a 90-day review plan is to really have an open mindset when you look at your successes the universe is a powerful place and sometimes it can deliver successes in ways and places that we didn't really expect but they're actually great signs and messages from the universe that we might need to maybe tweak or change or alter our direction for example you might be working on growing your business and achieving say a certain amount of sales in your business but you haven't necessarily achieved that but if you look at everything that's been going on and all the successes you might realize that you've made four or five great business contacts where you could potentially do collaborations that will help you achieve your goals or perhaps you have found new potential business or new potential ideas for your business further down the track the universe can manifest successes in so many different ways it can come from gifts it can come from refunds it can come from new business connections and ideas and opportunities it can come from savings it can come from discovering things that you can simply sell around you or maybe even winning simple prizes all these little things really do help and contribute towards your successes and helping you realize actually how how powerful your mindset really is and the more open we are to all these different types of results the more results we will get because what we appreciate appreciates and the universe loves it when we show gratitude now I really hope that you've enjoyed looking at your money mindset in a slightly different way a quick reminder if you're ever interested in doing a money mindset manifestation course my course has just launched and it is ready for you you can choose to do it online taking it at your own pace or if you want you can even book in one-on-one -on -one online coaching directly with me where we really work on your money mindset any blocks that you might have and I give you all my tips and tricks as to how to successfully manifest in your life now that's enough today from me I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any particular topics that you would like me to cover around money mindset and of course manifestation please make sure you put it in the comment box below thank you everyone for watching and make sure you watch my most recent video now <music>